My hair looks terrible. Howdy. My name is Nonat, and this is a little bit more of a serious video. So just so I don't interrupt the flow or the message of the video, I'm going to ask you now, if you enjoy it, like the video, subscribe to the channel to see more Pathfinder and TTRPG content. Uh, enjoy. In case you are unaware, the crowdfunding website Kickstarter is creating a brand new infrastructure for its site and its purposes that includes blockchain. There is a lot to cover in that sentence, so let's go through it sort of point by point. First off, what is blockchain? You might not know because I didn't know until I had to dive down the rabbit hole of this entire thing. I'd heard the term, I know it's involved with cryptocurrency, but what exactly is blockchain? Blockchain by itself is just a way of organizing and encrypting data. Rather than all of a source of data being stored on one single server and have one group or company having access to that server, it is instead stored in individual blocks. Each of those blocks has a set data limit, and when it fills up, it locks itself off, and any overflow data goes into a new block. Those blocks by themselves are meaningless, but can be put together with a special decryption system to make the data accessible. The way it's been described to me is you can kind of think of it as Legos, digital Legos. By themselves, it's just a meaningless brick, but you can put them all together to actually create something that has meaning. So what does it mean and what's the point of blockchain? Well, the term that you'll hear all over the internet is decentralization. Because individual blocks of data are meaningless without other blocks of data, the only way you can use them is if you have multiple. And because they are not being stored on a single server, but rather all throughout the web on different servers on different devices, different people have control over different amounts of blockchain. Because of that, no single group or person can own all of the information in the blockchain because they don't have all of the blocks to make the entire chain. This is a super simplification and honestly even I don't understand the actual mechanics of how it works. This is just sort of a very basic explanation. If you want to learn more, I'm sure you can find videos on YouTube. The reason that blockchain is relevant is because blockchain technology is how cryptocurrency functions. You might have heard me say earlier that the blocks in a blockchain are encrypted. Well, that should sound familiar to cryptocurrency. I'm not gonna be going super into detail on cryptocurrency. That is not what this video is about. This video is about Kickstarter. So if you wanna learn more about the intricacies of cryptocurrency, the internet is your friend. The reason I've explained all of this is because Kickstarter's new blockchain infrastructure will very likely be incorporating cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. This has not been confirmed and in their newest announcement they did not say the term cryptocurrency a single time, but it's pretty easy to infer that this is a reason behind the inclusion of blockchain tech. So why else would they be doing it besides the inclusion of cryptocurrency? Well, maybe because they're trying to be progressive and noble and selfless. Maybe? In their announcement, they have a big paragraph that is kind of fluffy and full of a lot of business talk, like synergy and how we should all work together. I'll simply read it for you. The world has gotten a lot more complex in just the past couple of decades, from to climate change, from financial crises to genetic engineering, the common thread of contemporary life is complexity. Navigating the levels of complexity we face today requires new systems. In particular, systems that, like those in nature, are more flexible and adaptable to change and unpredictability. Systems of collaboration that harness our connectivity in new ways to solve emergent problems. The whole thing feels very vague. Like, they're just saying, look at all this cool new technology. We don't really know what it does, but I bet you can figure it out. There's a link in the description to the full announcement if you'd like to read the whole thing for yourself. In reality, cryptocurrency and blockchain are just the new hot topic on the internet. People are pouring insane amounts of money into projects that incorporate them, and things like NFTs are selling for ludicrous amounts of money, 
And Bitcoin is just getting more popular by the day. Heck, my local mall has a kiosk where you can buy and sell Bitcoin. It's honestly pretty likely that Kickstarter is just trying to get with the times and hop on board that crypto bandwagon. And this is painting a really complicated and unfortunate picture for Kickstarter. They've sort of always portrayed themselves as a site for independent creators by independent creators. You know, let's work together to make your projects a reality because we all know that struggle. But at the end of the day, Kickstarter is a multi-million dollar business. So why am I talking about blockchain and crypto and Kickstarter on my channel about tabletop role-playing games? Well, because it's actually pretty relevant. Kickstarter has been a home for countless tabletop-related Kickstarter projects for years now. Miniatures, supplements to our favorite systems, dice sets, the list goes on. People have been making things for D&D 5e, new things for 3.5, heck, Pathfinder 2e just had their big battle zoo Kickstarter that was incredibly successful. People have been doing this for years to fund projects that they couldn't personally afford, but they knew people would be interested in. For an individual person living an average life in the USA, a project that costs five to ten thousand dollars of investment is just not feasible. If you want to get the people to make the dice, the product and, and ingredients to make the dice, to pay for shipping, to pay for designing, all of that, easily five to ten thousand dollars just to design and ship a dice set. If you're running off $40,000 a year, maybe, you can't spend a quarter of your income on a project that may or may not sell. Kickstarter was a fantastic way to not only raise that money, but also gauge interest. If you didn't make enough money to clear your Kickstarter goal, you didn't get any of that money, but hey, at least you're not out $10,000. Instead, maybe you're out $500 to $1,000 just for advertising and test products. So what does the inclusion of blockchain technology mean for small projects? On its own, not that much. And for a little while going forward, probably not much at all. Kickstarter will integrate blockchain and it's not gonna feel any different. They're not gonna add or change the website that much. They might just add like a Bitcoin option when you go to pledge to something next to the credit card option. However, I don't think it's gonna stay that way for long. Now, from here on, it's all entirely speculative. I'm not a business expert, I don't have a degree, but I have been on the internet for a very long time, and I've seen how people react to change. Tumblr. Just the announcement of adding blockchain tech to Kickstarter already has people up in arms. Twitter posts are getting thousands of likes and comments and retweets discussing their hatred and adverse reaction to this announcement. And this is largely due to the fact that Kickstarter's user base are independent creators supporting other small independent creators. These are people who have spoken out and proven in the past that they are not fans of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. This is due in no small part to the environmental damage that blockchain and Bitcoin mining have begun to produce. Believe it or not, small independent creators and environmental activists have a pretty heavy crossover. And the environmental waste produced by Bitcoin mining over the last two years has increased exponentially. Just from Bitcoin mining alone, from 2017 to 2021, we have seen a 10 times increase in electronic waste generation. And in case you're unfamiliar, electronic waste is basically things being thrown out, thrown into landfills, and the energy burned to power them. So as computers are burned out and tossed into landfills with all that plastic and metal just sitting there doing nothing, that's e-waste. All of the energy, and especially in countries like China, which is powered by coal, that is also considered e-waste as the coal burns up and, you know, burns away into the atmosphere. Now, in their defense, Kickstarter has made it a point that they are partnering with Kello? Celo? Cello? I'm gonna say Celo. Celo is a blockchain network that prides itself on being carbon negative. 
their blockchain is specifically never used for Bitcoin mining and as such does not consume the massive amounts of energy needed. Now it is still blockchain and because of the complexity of blockchain that is still needing a large source of energy. However, they do claim to be carbon negative and that they are offsetting the energy used for it. Whether this is true or not, I can't say. I'm working off of CeeLo's personal claims. This does at least show, however, that Kickstarter has made it a point to be fighting against the environmental effects of blockchain. Now, also to their credit, they are releasing the new Kickstarter infrastructure as public source. This means that anybody will be able to take this new source code, make their own websites, make their own crowdfunding programs, or even integrate it into their own personal website to run crowdfunding outside of Kickstarter with the same infrastructure. This is cool. It'll definitely be neat to see what people can do with it, but it's also slightly worrisome. If this infrastructure does include and encourage the use of Bitcoin, this will simply make Bitcoin even more commonplace around the internet, thus encouraging Bitcoin mining, thus causing even more e-waste. But what does this mean for tabletop Kickstarters specifically? I think really quickly, this is going to lead to a struggle and less support for tabletop Kickstarters and crowdfunding in general. Judging by people's adverse reactions to the crypto change, they are not going to want to support Kickstarter in the slightest. Even if they see a project that they love on Kickstarter, they're not going to want to back it because that will still support Kickstarter. Because of this, individual projects are going to see less funding even if people would have wanted to see it succeed. Now, why not just find a replacement website, you know, a new Kickstarter that doesn't use blockchain? I think that will happen, but it's not going to dethrone the Kickstarter king. Let's say 30% of Kickstarter's user base abandons them for a new site like Indiegogo. Cool, that 30% will be on Indiegogo now, which doesn't use blockchain. But unfortunately, this just hurts everybody. The people still on Kickstarter now have 30% less users to be discovered by and receive funding from, and the crowd over on Indiegogo doesn't have access to the other 70% that are still using Kickstarter. This is going to hurt. You know, it'll help someone like Indiegogo if their user base expands, sure, but in the general world of creators trying to get projects funded, it's going to be a lot harder with the audience split between crowdfunding websites. Now, what does this mean for Kickstarter? Well, Kickstarter obviously isn't going anywhere anytime soon. They are the king of crowdfunding and no other platform even comes close to them in popularity. However, I do think the focus of the company and the focus of the website may be changing. The inclusion of blockchain could be a shift in focus onto larger scale projects. Kickstarter only gets 5% of the funds raised from a project, so a five dollars or $10,000 project is a drop in the bucket that Kickstarter likely doesn't even really see. However, the multi-million dollar projects, like the uh, Fool's Gold campaign, can we just talk about that? Congratulations. Kickstarter gets a much larger kickback from that simply due to the sheer amount. For that reason, they're adding the option of cryptocurrency to draw in heavier backers and hopefully see more massive projects popping up. It's no lie that people using cryptocurrency tend to spend more money. So if they can get that more money funded into projects, that's also more money funded into Kickstarter. From a business perspective, it does make sense. Unfortunately, those ten dollars to $20,000 projects of the miniatures, the dice sets, the supplements for our favorite systems are likely not going to get the same support as the new businesses, the new media studios, other multi-million dollar projects that single investors can dump $300,000 worth of crypto into and reap the financial rewards later. The smaller projects just aren't going to be as interesting to Kickstarter itself 
and thus will not receive the same kind of support. That, on top of the splitting of user base between websites, is going to make it incredibly difficult for any of these small projects to get up off the ground. Now, I'll happily be wrong about this. Maybe the addition of blockchain to Kickstarter is strictly for source code material. Maybe they won't include crypto. Maybe it even won't be as impactful as I'm theorizing. I can just hope that these small projects are not going to suffer from this change and we can still see those small projects we all love for the new minis and the new books and whatever, because it's all just so freaking cool. Kickstarter is currently preparing a white paper for release, which will hopefully give us a lot more details and a lot more information to go off of. If there is enough information given out, I will make a follow-up to this video, but for now, that's where we stand. Thank you for watching.